The first grade standard 088 requires students to determine the unknown whole number in an addition or subtraction equation relating to three whole numbers. For example, determine the unknown number that makes the equation true in each of the equations. 8 plus question mark equals 11, 5 equals question mark minus 3, 6 plus 6 equals question mark. At its core, this standard is all about understanding the relationship between three whole numbers. Students must relate these numbers within various addition and subtraction equation structures. Most often, students solve common addition and subtraction problems with the result unknown. For example, 6 plus 6 equals question mark, or 13 minus 8 equals question mark. First graders are very comfortable with the structure of these type of equations. While this type of equation is certainly covered in the standard, be sure to have students solve various equations other than with the result unknown. For mastery of this standard, Teachers will want to present first graders with multiple opportunities to solve problems with the change and start unknown. When 6 and 7 year olds struggle to solve change or start unknown problems, like 8 plus question mark equals 11 or 5 equals question mark minus 3, pay particular attention to the child's thinking. If a child says 19 for the first equation or 2 for the second equation, it's likely because the student does not understand the meaning of the equal sign. As a teacher, you will want to check out the video on 10087 to address such misconceptions. However, it might be that the equation itself is too abstract for the child to comprehend, and therefore a story context and or manipulatives will serve as a critical sense-making strategy. Remember the concrete pictorial abstract sequence? Use a simple story problem, or snap cubes, or pennies to model either equation. It is absolutely critical that we give students plenty of rich opportunities to solve a variety of word problem types with unknowns in the change and start positions. In other words, the type of story context where the change or start is unknown. The problems in these two columns are perfect for supporting student proficiency with the standard. This particular table can be found in the Mathematics Glossary on the georgiastandards.org K5 Mathematics homepage. For solving the various addition and subtraction equations presented in 1088, students can use counting strategies. This standard calls for students to solve problems and use strategies beyond counting all and become familiar with counting on and counting back. As a teacher, you might also want to check out the video on 1086 to see the strategies that students can use to solve addition and subtraction equations involving three related whole numbers. And finally, Remember to consistently use math tools to model solving addition and subtraction equations. Students should be familiar and flexible with using 10 frames, reckon recs, number lines, part part whole diagrams, number bonds, and 100 charts to solve problems. This standard extends the work that students do in 1084 by relating addition and subtraction as related operations for situations with the unknown. 1087 requires students to understand the meaning of the equal sign. As a teacher, you will want to provide students with the explicit definition of the equal sign meaning as the same as. Repeat this often as you work with students to solve the various addition and subtraction equations. Further, be sure to present students with equations where the equal sign is on the left. Standard 1088 is a critical building block in developing early algebraic reasoning skills, particularly the flexible use of solving various addition and subtraction equations with the change and start unknown. So Jabari thinks that the missing number is 1. Do you agree or disagree? And I want you to turn now and talk to your partner about if you agree or disagree. When conducting a number talk, it is important to allow students to share their reasoning with peers. And engaging in productive mathematical discourse helps to make sense of the problem. Notice as students are discussing, I am purposefully silent as this is a great time for me to listen in on students' conversations. As a teacher, you can select one or two students to share their reasoning with the whole group or you might deliberately choose two students who had correct but different strategies. Further, you might want to intentionally choose one student who agreed and one student who disagreed and have them explain their reasoning. To address the rigor with this standard, Curious Mathematical Match Game is a task that can be found on illustrativemathematics.org. It allows students to engage in creating and solving various addition and subtraction equations relating three whole numbers. The key with this task is that students must be able to relate the three numbers presented and create equations to solve in various equation structures. There are several versions that first graders can play, including no memory, light memory, and memory. In the following video, you'll see the students playing the memory version. As a teacher, 
You can support the students in making sense of the three numbers that are correctly related and helping students to reason the ways in which the numbers can be combined to make addition and subtraction equations. Okay, round four. Come on, Kimor. Your turn to choose a target number. Okay, I choose this one. Okay, ten. Wait, let's think of some equations that we can write to make ten. What equations can we think of to relate that number? No. I see Layla already has two addition equations using the commutative property. Okay. Carmen, thank you for putting that equal sign on the left side because we know that equal means the same as. Okay, Anaya. Ooh, one addition and one subtraction. She got a subtraction sentence. That's very good. All right, Kimora. So let's think of two other numbers. So we have some equations written down. Hopefully we can get a match this time. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully we can. Okay. Four. Uh oh. So some of us had four in our equations with the target number 10. So what other number do we need? We need a six. That would be really ideal. Or we could use what other number? 14. 14. Great. Okay, come on, come on. Let's see. 16. With 16, yeah. Marco? It's a 6. It's a 6. All right, so let's look at that. Pull those three numbers out, Kimora. Pull out, pull out the 4 over there. All right, now using these symbol cards, using the minus the addition or the equal how could you set up those three numbers so i could go see oh, no. four six ten because that related because four starts and then what's four plus four okay so i heard you use a plus so where, where would you put the plus okay in between and then what what would you need? Ten. Ten. Well, equal though. Very good. Because what does equal mean? That, that means the same as. That means the same as. So look at that. Read that to me. Okay. Add. And then it's not good. Plus. More than okay. One, two. Four plus six equals ten. Because okay. that's true. So one, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. So you see, I got this four, and now I got my six. And that equals how many? Ten. Okay, so now how could I use? But now look at this. How could I use the subtraction sentence with these three numbers? How could I relate that? Okay, now read that number sentence for me. Awesome. Unit 3 of the First Grade Georgia Curriculum Frameworks has several other rich tasks to support the understanding of determining the unknown whole number in an addition or subtraction equation relating three whole numbers. They include lots of dots, what numbers can you make, fact families to 10, as well as story problems involving change unknown and initial unknown. In each of these tasks, students solve addition and subtraction equations relating three whole numbers.